Hi, this is Aliyah. Today is the last episode of the Moroccan cookie series, so I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't seen the other videos, click here to watch the entire series. Today we're going to finalize this series with Kabla Gazelle, which literally means the ankle of a gazelle, or sometimes called the horn of the gazelle, because it has a beautiful arced shape. And again, it will use the almond paste that you already learned how to make. So let's start! In a large bowl, combine the flour, butter, a bit of orange blossom water, and salt. Using your fingertips, mix the ingredients together. Add cold water little by little into the mixture while working the flour with your fingertips. Gather the dough into a bowl. If the dough crumbles, add cold water a few drops at a time until everything sticks together. Knead the dough for a few minutes until it becomes soft. Divide the dough into four portions. Cover and let rest for 15 minutes. Very lightly dust a work surface with flour. Roll each dough portion until quite thin. Lift up the dough and reposition it several times to facilitate the rolling out. For each cookie, roll 1 tablespoon of almond filling between your palms to form a sausage-like stick about 2 inches long and half an inch in diameter. Dust your hands with flour. Place the almond sticks horizontally in the center of the dough, allowing about 1.5 inches between each. Lift the dough edge closest to you and fold it over so that it covers the almond sticks. With your fingertips, gently pinch and mold each concealed almond paste into a crescent shape. Press the back of the cookies to make sure the edges are well sealed. Cut out each crescent with a pastry wheel. Arrange the crescents about 1 inch apart on a baking sheet dusted with flour or covered with parchment paper. In the side of each cookie, prick two holes using a toothpick. Bake in the middle of a preheated oven to 350 Fahrenheit degrees, 180 Celsius degrees for around 12 minutes or until the cookies have a beautiful light golden brown color. Look at this beauty! All I need now is a mint tea. Bon appétit!